Since the wondrous discoveries made by Jack Cousteau, treasure hunting has been embraced by many. Now experience the excitement of geocaching. Uh, well, we had good friends that uh, told us about geocaching. He kind of found about, out about it on the internet, and it was a good way to learn how to use a brand new GPS unit that he'd bought. And he had kids, and they went and found this game called geocaching where you use a GPS to go find a treasure box. And my wife and I thought that'd be fun to do. With, uh, at that point, we had two little boys and said that'd be a fun thing to go do and, and uh, get us all outside and get the kids wanting to go for walks and hikes. It's just been really fun to see different places that we wouldn't normally see and get out and do some hiking that you wouldn't normally do, that sort of thing. Now there's there's just lots of them and they, they range in size from what they call a micro cache, which is like a little Altoids tin, all the way up to um, the biggest one I think we've ever found is like a five gallon bucket that's like a detergent bucket and they'll stuff it full of stuffed toys or something really big. And we've placed a couple of caches, but when you place a cache, you're supposed to make sure that you live close enough to where you can check on it every once in a while. They, they say that you're supposed to be able to maintain it. So like we put one in Canada and they said, no, you can't do that. Because when you post one, they have somebody at the other end. There's a few people that, I don't know how many people they have that kind of maintain the website and they'll go and check on your cash to make sure that you haven't buried it. You're not supposed to bury it and you're not supposed to put it on like government property and stuff like that. First you have to look for a geocache. You're walking and then you look for it and then you find it. Like you can find like, um, not like, you can find real cool coins, cars, cards, even candy find something like you might have wanted for Christmas. I think the biggest thing I've ever we've ever gotten is probably like a gift certificate. The the bit, best thing I've ever heard of was there used to be a series in McCall where you could do like 10 of them and every once in a while they'd put $100 bills into them. The people that ran looked after those those caches and they did it just cuz they liked people to go out and do it. And there, you had to go do, a, you know, you didn't know which, which ones had the $100 bills, so you had to go look at all 10 that they had. Geocaching is a little, um, sometimes you, you, um, they're not there, so you had to actually keep on looking. They might not be in the right place, but they will be in a different place. Sometimes they move it because they just want to make it a little harder, and sometimes it's real hard. It's more fun just looking, and if you get something cool, and that's that's a bonus. But what what's neat is that you end up going to places that you just wouldn't even know existed, and 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 see some cool stuff. We've been in places in Boise that you'd never walk to, or you'd never go look for, and yet you're looking for this geocache, and you find a a cool creek or a, a nice park that you might never have been to. Um, when we were in Canada, we went to places and we found uh, like an old abandoned mine that we would have never found. It was just off the road, but unless you had a reason to go there, you'd never stop and go look for it. And uh, and that's always the way it's been. We've, we've been to all kinds of cool places just because of geocaching. You just run off the road for 10 minutes to find something. Some of them have contests. There's a couple of them on the geocaching site that, you know, they're trying to like be the person with that's found the most and all that. And there's people that have found literally thousands of them. We're not quite that diehard, but <laughs> we found a few. We started geocaching about six months ago, and we kind of stumbled upon it. We didn't know what it was, and we just kind of stumbled upon it because I had purchased a, G a GPS for my husband, and then it sat in the closet. And I thought, well, if it's no good, then we should take it back. And then someone told us about geocaching with GPS, so we broke it out and started using it, and it has been awesome because it gets him away from the TV and it gets us more familiar with the area. Well, we went to California where I grew up and my parents still are, and I looked it up on geocaching.com and there was a bunch of geocaches literally in my parents' like backyard, like their block that they live on, and it's just fun for me because having grown up there and not realizing that you know, there's cool places to hide things and it was my old stomping ground and 
we actually couldn't find one of them and I had to email another searcher and geocacher and give me an extra tip and we made four, four different attempts during the week that we were there to find it and we finally found it on our last day. In, uh, so. in 2004, I, I was in a mode for getting a new uh, GPS and I was looking on the internet for a good, good buy and a uh, good purchase price and I was doing some uh, searching and I come across the term uh, geocaching and I thought well what's this so I went to geocaching.com went to the website and uh, uh, got reading on their web page and I thought hey this is cool I, I've got to do this 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 specific cache is called Firehawk out of the ashes um, it's right across from my home and there was a nearby location for that cache and and I put a put this one in there in fact this little um, it's called a decon container and uh, it's loaded it's quite full to the gills right now for families this is a way to go I mean it's a good family activity you spend time together gets the kids excited to be outdoors again which in this day and age is kind of hard to do sometimes when they're hooked to videos and cartoons and all that kind of thing Just get a GPS and borrow somebody's GPS and give it a try and uh, have fun with it